So you mean to tell me my boy Vegeta has Super Saiyan God and he takes on Moro? How did I miss this? Let's get into it. So we're back with another Moro arc revisit, but let's just jump right into the notes that I took. So. First of all, guys, one of the big things about this chapter that I thought was really interesting was how they showed just how dark and grim and pure evil the idea of Moro is. There was this part in the manga chapter where they stated that Moro, when they sensed him, they could literally feel thousands of souls just crying out for help. Now that is one of the more darker things that Dragon Ball has ever touched upon and I really liked this but it was also very disturbing. I liked it because it showed a dark side to Dragon Ball but like I said it was disturbing to hear that. It reminded me of Galactus, how Galactus goes from planet to planet consuming planets. It was like that man, it was really dark and menacing and I liked that little theme that they were going for for that character. It was pretty cool. There's a part in this chapter that Moro states since he's in his older form, his magic is much weaker, so he can't do the things that he normally could. Moro's millions of years old. I don't even know how old he is. I mean, this goes back to before Boo absorbed Dakayo, so I don't know. I mean, the way he was talking, it's a, he, he kind of made it seem like, oh, in my heyday, they could have messed with me. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? He seemed like one of them old people that just try to big themselves up, trying to feel all confident. I don't know. Maybe he was really that serious, but... Yeah, he's just talking a lot of trash. <laughs> and this was another interesting thing that they covered. Goku and Vegeta were ready to go meet up with Moro to cut him off from getting to Namek before they did. And Mirus was trying to figure out how are they going to get there. He didn't even know that Goku had instant transmission. I guess it's an ability that he doesn't know. Because remember, we does travel from Beerus' planet to Earth using that when he flies. Like, he just flies there somehow. But he doesn't use instant transmission. I wonder if that's a technique that none of the gods know of, because you know Mirus is related to Whis, so eh, it might be something that he doesn't even know exists. Now this was one of the cooler parts. Goku and Vegeta arrive on Namek, and Moro's about to eat a Namekian. My boy Vegeta jumps in and saves him so fast, and this is one of the things I love because Vegeta stated he had done so wrong to the Namekians for a long time that now he's trying to make up for it and trying to save them. I love that part. I cannot tell you how much I love that part. To see Vegeta express that, you know, I've done bad things. I was a horrible person, but now is my chance to make up for it. I love that. As a Vegeta fan, oh man, this, this is when Toriyama hits the writing. This is when the writing is good. This is when he nails it. And when he nails it, it's perfect. Oh, I wish it just stayed like that. <laughs> and it, it kind of reminded me of Sub-Zero and Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, where Scorpion killed the original Sub-Zero and he saw the newer Sub-Zero. And he once he found out that they were brothers, he then felt bad for killing the new Sub-Zero's brother and then vowed to protect him. It just reminded me of that. I'm a big Sub-Zero fan. I, I'm, I, I used to be so heavily into Mortal Kombat, so I just try to draw these comparisons. Y'all know me. Then we start the fight with Vegeta and Moro. And when they were fighting, Vegeta couldn't lay a hand on him for a good minute. Moro was evading, dodging, weaving. I mean, Vegeta couldn't touch him for a second. I was like, okay, for an old dude, Moro, Moro can move. Like, he, he's pretty spry in his old age, you know? Like, he's giving Vegeta a little bit of work. And then at one point, Moro even uses this magic to, like, slam Vegeta down. And y'all know Vegeta. Vegeta's not gonna fall for the same trick twice. And that's when Vegeta busts out the Super Saiyan God form. Boy, let me tell you, it is beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. I will say this, Goku and Vegeta have the best looking Super Saiyan transformations out of anybody in the entire series. But I do like the way Vegeta's God form looks more than anyone else's. I don't know what it is. It might be the hair. It might just be because I'm a Vegeta fan, but his God form looks so perfect. Gets up. Starts dodging all those magic moves by Moro. Moro's like caught off guard. I'm like, yeah, you ain't catching my boy with that. Not again. You ain't catching Vegeta with that again. And then Vegeta starts putting the beats on Moro real quick. Starts punching him, kicking him. And right then and there, Moro decides to take off his little cape and get serious. And that's where this manga chapter ends. Honestly, since I'm revisiting this Moro arc, man, I got to tell you guys. It's pretty cool to see a lot of these things. Like, 
a lot of these things I didn't see before because I told you guys I didn't really read it I kind of like saw certain things and I just I don't know I wasn't really interested in the manga at that time when the more art came out yeah I didn't really care for it but now that I'm actually going through it myself and reading it I'm really enjoying it gotta be honest I do like it a lot so I thought this chapter was pretty good I thought it was pretty cool it was a little bit of talking a little bit of build up they mentioned some things that they mentioned instant transmission and mirrors Mirus was talking with Goku and Vegeta about how serious of a threat Moro is. Then they had the whole aspect with Moro being just comprised of dead soul. Oh man, bro, that was crazy. And then Vegeta's writing was this chapter was great, man. I gotta be honest, this chapter was great. I give this chapter I give this chapter a 10. Honestly, this chapter was great, guys. So those are my thoughts. So make sure you guys leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share, share, share that video because we're on that road to a thousand subscribers, guys. Ah, if only they could keep Vegeta's writing this good all the time. That's all I got.